What's up guys? It's been a long time since we've done one of these. Uh, it's my wife, Bethany, and I. We are here to do Derek and Bethany React. Uh, we react to different TV shows about real estate. If you have one, let us know because we would love to do them. But today, we're gonna react to Marriage or Mortgage. It's a new hit show on Netflix. So go check it out after we uh, try and react to this. But average costs of weddings, it's kind of crazy. We want a house. I mean, that's the smart decision to make. And I was <laughs> always raised in terms of if you rent, you're kind of throwing money away. I have anxiety. <laughs> Do you have anxiety? There's a lot of things going through my, my mind right now. Tell me. So the first thing is, I think society puts on this portray that you need to have this big wedding. I could be really wrong about that, but that's not No, that's your opinion, I when think. When we got married, I was 24. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt like, oh, I needed to do all the things. Uh, and now looking back, I'm like, well, oh so did man. I. I mean, we both did. We could have just taken a big trip. I was very similar and, to this guy. And um, like, I was like, I want this to be the best wedding anybody's ever been to. Right, or, you know, and so we, we did have a pretty big wedding um, and Looking back on it now, I'm like, oh, we could have just taken a trip, but I feel or, like you never know. Hold on. You're never gonna know. Or like we could have invested that money into real estate. Or that, yeah. Probably a better option. <laughs> hey, I didn't say that. Taking a trip and invested that money, I don't know. Both, I like that idea. But anyways, what he's saying is, uh, or what she's saying is, as far as the rent piece goes, um, yes, you are burning your money on rent. If you are renting, you are literally throwing it in a pile and burning it and watching it go away. Just my thoughts. So anyways, uh, do you wanna do that? Or do you wanna get married? Then there's marriage. I don't know, let's talk at the end a little <laughs> bit more about it. <laughs> Old Nashville, Tennessee, yeah boy. You know, we'd like to stick to uh, being at or under 450,000. Okay. That's where we're thinking probably three, four bedroom, three bathroom, and close to downtown. We definitely want a big backyard, obviously, for Ooh. Franklin, because yeah, that's, that's important. That's super if you see us cringe just a little bit, it's just seeing that price and wanting to be close to downtown Nashville. You may have what to- What do you consider downtown? <laughs> one, and you may have to cut off some of your wants and wishes. Yeah. Okay. We want something that's really turnkey too. We don't want to move, start new jobs, and renovate, renovate. something. Right. We don't want to do any of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a perfect pause. <laughs> this is just perfect. So, so turnkey. What she means by turnkey is she they they want to move into something that's move-in ready. That everything's already done. It's built. They don't have to. They don't have to worry about. Uh, construction going on, they don't have to worry about anything, fixing a bunch of stuff, they just want it to be move-in ready, all they have to do is fill it, right? So that's their ideal situation as a tur turnkey home. Um, that face is... Pretty good. That's fantastic. Like I'm not gonna She's lie. thinking, what do you think she's thinking? I don't know, probably like, ooh, this is gonna be fun. It's just a lot, it's a lot of money for one day. Knowing what a drape can cost is kind of crazy. That's so much money that you can do so much with. It's overwhelming. Yep. I get it, it is one. Well, like she said, but just in, instead of it being there through the, the wedding venue and that one day, which is your wedding, I look at it as, you know, real estate is one of the biggest investments you'll make it in your entire life, especially if it's your own personal home, because you're gonna spend just as much money on a mortgage or just as much money on rent as you would in a mortgage, um, except for it's actually going back to you. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Sometimes I can show a couple three homes and they know exactly what they want. Yeah. Then sometimes I can show couples 300 and they're still never gonna figure it out. Is that true? Yes, you, you do show 300 houses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To some people. I blacked no, out. No, 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 no. I shouldn't say it like that. I think the market's crazy right now, so I think we are in a it's not. seller's market. <laughs> right now, I don't think it's not. The people can't make a decision. I think it's just there's 
low inventory. Now, granted, I had some, some clients from Seattle move here and it took them two weeks. We looked at quite a few houses, but they made a decision and they were, they loved it. They love it. They just moved in, but you have to, in this market, like you're going to go against a bunch of multiple offers. So the houses that she's showing, by the way, that's all I was thinking about is the houses that she's selling are either number one, about to be five offers deep period, or they were like, Hey, you're going to be on TV. Yeah. You get, you get to show this. First if they all want probably. it, you got it. Probably. Window to window with that neighbor. They're very close. Uh -huh. Get used to it. I don't know if the <laughs> fence can be higher in okay. Florida. There's a fence height wall. Right. All right. Going back to East Nashville or pretty much anything in Nashville, you are close to your neighbors. That's not going away. You are actually mostly super close to your neighbors. I am, I'm so interested to see where these other houses are. So like sometimes, correct me if I'm wrong, and you'll probably need to speak to this more, but um, sometimes there may be an older house there and they'll mm. like tear the house down and they'll build two straight- Tall skinnies. Um, tall skinnies is what they call them. Yeah. So you're pretty close to your neighbor. Yeah, so even if it's a house like that, he just pointed over the house didn't look like terrible, but it didn't look like it had been updated. But that house that is their neighbor could very well be torn down and they they might build four on that same lot. Mm -hmm. So it just depends, but either or you're, you're close. You're real close. No, you weren't crazy about the neighbors being in close yeah. proximity, but at least you have this, this space. Thing. I mean, I think if you want to be close to downtown and you want the yard and everything, this is probably like the best that's going to get yeah. as turnkey as it is. It's definitely a great house. Yeah, it is. You did a good job. I agree oh, with that. Thanks. I think she did a good job setting the expectation and saying, look, this is probably the best that you're gonna get. Yes. Um, Expectations. For that price and the way the property looks. Yes. Expectations. <laughs> Gotta have them. Split level. <gasps> Franklin, what do you think? It's split level. It's an open floor plan, like you said, you wanted four bed. Well. 445 in Franklin, Tennessee. Okay, let's be real here. So yeah, mortgage pre-approval 450. All right, so they're pre-approved for 450, meaning that if they went to that 495 that she showed them, they'd have to get a bump in their pre-approval up to that price point. Now, they, they might have said, price. here's our pre-approval letter from the lender, but we're good to go above that, but the lender, that's where they want to stay based off of their monthly that they wanted to keep. So if my monthly I want to keep is 1,500, and let's say it's 400,000, gets me at that 1,500 mark, I don't know the numbers exactly. That's great, but if you want to go to 495, your 1,500 is going to go up. So whatever that monthly is, they just have to be comfortable with the monthly and be able to be pre-approved for that monthly amount just doesn't mean that they necessarily are stuck at 450. I would assume not. She's showing a 50 grand higher. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. How long has it been on the market for? 50 some odd days. So okay. yeah. That can give us a little room for negotiation. Absolutely it could. Okay. <laughs> Hold the phone. We probably need to look up when this is. I don't know when this was aired, like the exact, or when it was filmed, not aired, but when it was filmed. But if it was filmed, any time in the last probably year, to yeah. be honest, there's no way that house would be on the market for that long. Right now, that house has been gone with five, 10 offers on it. I would it. say a little less than a year. 50, 50 something days? <laughs> no. Now, it is a split level. So <laughs> well, let me just say, <laughs> it's a split level. I'm trying to like justify why it's been on and I don't know if there's anything else wrong with it, but a split level means that when you walk into that front door, you have the option to go, you have a landing and you either go down or you go up. It's called the different things in other areas of the country, but here we call it a split level. So you can either go down to the semi basement or just downstairs, or you go up to the upstairs, which is the main living area. Um, so not everybody loves to walk in and have that. Uh, it's not as desirable, but I mean, this is a cute looking house. So we're going to see. So and it's a house I... with a yard for Franklin, <laughs> right? So the reason he's Franklin sleeping right now is because of the time he spent in that backyard. Franklin means a lot to them. <laughs> so just so you know, as a realtor, when I help people find homes, 
I tell people that, hey, your job is to look around, enjoy the house. So anything that you're not saying, I'm just like, ah, oh, what did they like? They did like that, I could tell they liked that. Like that's my job. So for instance, Franklin means a lot. Just like our dog here means a lot to me. Her name is Brickley, mm -hmm. she's amazing. Um, but their dog means a lot, so it was like that was the one yard that really made sense for him. And she staged it for Franklin, which was awesome, super smart. Yeah. So that's why I picked that. Mm -hmm. Just in my mind. I like this show. That's a tough act to follow. But you're <laughs> moving up here from Naples to a brand new job. You're looking to start your life together. So I really want you guys to have a home in Nashville. Okay, hold on, let me say one thing. So just really quick, here's something else I thought about because this happens to me often as an agent. People have a 30 day move, at, move out and they're like, hey, we gotta find a house in 30 days. They feel overwhelmed. She seems so stressed as it is. It's like, oh, and the anxiety build up, the anxiety build up. So if that's the case, you also gotta take into account if you're moving, especially from like Naples, that's a long move from there to Nashville. So if that's the case, a lot of clients that I've had honestly get to a point, if, if we don't find them something, this is what I tell them up front, like if we don't find you something, it's fine, rent for six months or a year. Find out if you even like Nashville. You visited here, that's great, but you haven't lived here, it might be different, I don't know. So rent for six months to 12 months and then go buy a house. In this case, get married, rent for 12 months and then go buy a house. I know budget was a big priority hmm. at 445 the price of that house was at the very top of your budget i'm happy to report since i have last spoken to you guys there's been a price drop the house is now 425 <laughs> that's a big price drop <laughs> that's huge so this was clearly not today <laughs> um because today this is early. there would be a price increase of $30,000. <laughs> kidding, that's exaggeration. So they're 100% gonna pick the house and... Oh no, I think they're gonna do the wedding. No, I think they're gonna pick the house and... You wanna make a 20 cent bet? Oh my gosh. I'll bet you 20 cents. And <laughs> this is not Big what money. the Nashville market is like, so... No, this is not, not at all. The house be a sound investment and the values could just keep going and going up. Which the is price drop is, right is, is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. From when they bought. And because the area is so up and coming, we'd be getting in. At a relatively good time. Is it realistic? Yes. Ish. I think it's realistic as far as the things that you need to think about when you're searching for a home, but I think it was a little unrealistic as far as price points and some of the stuff that you get away with being on a TV show. But. I mean, obviously the houses are real. Some of that was realistic, like in East Nashville, the houses being close together. And it's really cool that the first episode was in Nashville. So that allowed yeah. us to really Super be able cool. to speak towards yeah. this specific area. So that's yeah. pretty ni nice to know. But um, I think overall, it was pretty realistic, more realistic than it was any anything else where it wasn't realistic, so. Yeah, I think so. I think it gives people a really, like I feel like this is something young people struggle with as far as like, do we buy a house yes. or do we get married? Well, the market's crazy. You know, I think this is very realistic in that standpoint. Um, and at this period of time, I think it was a, a realistic price point, like during pre-COVID. But now that COVID's happened, it has taken a very big hit as far as inventory mm -hmm. is concerned. So. Yeah. Overall, I love the show. I think it's great. I think you should definitely to watch, watch it. The next episode, yeah. And we're gonna try and review these, I think, next. But Marriage or Mortgage on Netflix. Go check it out. I think it's a great little show. It's fun for all ages. I don't know, I've always wanted to say that. I don't <laughs> thing is all right. Thanks for watching another episode of Derek and Bethany Reacts. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. All right, that's a wrap. Is that a wrap? I can't stand it. Does he do this to you?